Alright dudes, it's time for some more excellent news for Outriders. The big new update is going to bring in some really awesome changes and it's shaping up to be a pretty awesome one. It seems that the developer team is listening to the feedback. We're getting some really awesome multiplayer changes in there, but the annoying snipers and some of the other scaling issues are also getting addressed among many other things. So let's talk about all of that here in this video. By the way, you still have time to take part in our April giveaways. There's just about a week until they end and you get two chances to win a free copy of Outriders on a platform of your choice. So one of them is in partnership with Instant Gaming so a huge shout out to them. You have all of the links down below and the second one I'm doing for my own. You can go ahead pick up a copy of Outriders on any platform you want to and I will announce the winners right here on this channel at the end of the giveaway. But let's get started with the announcement right here. We wanted to share a brief update update on where all things Outriders dev stand today. There's a thread filled with all of the changes coming up, but I will talk about that in just a little bit. In the meantime, talking about patching, a larger patch as we've talked previously that we are aiming to release in the near future is currently undergoing testing. We will share thorough patch notes upon its release, but we have shared some very top level highlights on this link as well. So this isn't like the full patches or anything, like the notes and whatnot, but it will contain some of the highlights, some of the bigger changes that are going to arrive with that update. And by the way, if you're still struggling with the multiplayer, like I know a lot of you guys have been trying to connect to me in the past few days, I've even been playing with some of you guys and for the most part it was pretty okay but it was always some issue or another that was kind of interfering like rubber banding, disconnect, crashes, um, like a ton of other issues you know with the multiplayer but rest assured that that's going to be on the list in the new big patch as well. So as you may notice the above patch will address a number of issues, bugs and crashes associated with the multiplayer. While we hope that these resolutions will improve the MP experience for many of you, we will still be keen to look into detailed multiplayer issues reports. So that's gonna be all of that. But I do want to go over the changes. There's a pretty lengthy thread right here that contains just the highlights. So you can imagine that the biggest update that is going to contain an even more extensive patch note list. So that's going to be something that we're going to cover once that gets released. But um, this is a bit of a refresh of the previous known issue thread as the previous thread may have become confusing over time as its title was focused specifically on the launch period. So now we have a new big one with the latest news regarding the known issues. So this thread may as well get updated over time, but we wanted to share that brief update on where things stand on Friday 23rd of April, which is essentially, well, it was yesterday. So here is how it stands. Inventory, wipe and character restoration. Our work and testing on the restoration process will continue throughout the weekend. We hope to provide a clear schedule as soon as possible. So by the way, on that note, that character restoration, it first needs to happen for the compensation to go in case uh, you were still wondering. So uh, yeah, that's been a addressed a number of times, I'm not really sure why people are still asking it. Now on the subject of patching, a larger patch is on the way, so here is some of the fixes that we have on top. We'll fix a number of crashes throughout the game, a number of issues, bugs and crashes associated with the multiplayer, also the sign in screen getting stuck is also something that they are addressing in the new update. I still see a ton of you guys with this problem, not really sure why it's still happening, but yeah, this is also getting a further fix in the new update. And they will also include lots of resolutions for gear, mod, skill, quest, level and lightning bugs. Now, I especially want to see that mod change slash update slash fix because there are a number of mods that on the surface level, they seem really great, they seem really awesome, but they either list a 0% increase in either firepower or anomaly or they simply don't work. I would also say that... Um, the mod that currently provides you that 75% damage reduction with the golem might also get fixed in the new patch. So if you're running with that and in the next update you're going to notice that all of a sudden you're dying, it's because you were running a bugged mod that was working way better than intended, it was essentially never falling off, so you might want to keep that into, into mind. But don't worry, there's a replacement that will do pretty much the same 
constantly. Now this patch will also address a number of community issues including but not limited to difficulty dealing with the snipers, the bane of everybody's existence, they literally snipe you from across the map. If you simply got out of cover by one single pixel they will snipe that like there's no tomorrow so I'm glad that at least these are getting fixed because they were really annoying. Also difficulty dealing with excessive knockback from creatures in the Stargrave expedition is another one it's also going to get addressed now stargrave is a map that i like visually but in one of the stages in one of the rooms you simply get filled with a ton of big enemies like the leaping horrors or whatever they are called as well as a number of bosses which if you're not clearing them up fast enough they will perma stun you and you won't be able to do anything without somebody helping you out so i'm glad that this is a fix now i want to see this fix in other ones like in other areas as well there's a few of these jungle expeditions that have similar other issues as well also in terms of the crash dumps we never addressed this in any of the videos but whenever your game crashes it essentially creates a crash dump which can be quite big like 300 megabytes every time you crash so what this means is that you might get your c folder filled with crash dumps because this can literally reach like 28 30 gigs mine was 28 gigs by the way that's how many times i crashed since the game launched and now if i look into it i think i have another gig or two so the crashes went down a little bit but go ahead clear it out you're going to have on the screen right here where you can find the crash dump folder because it can literally be in the tens of gigabyte and yeah there's going to be many more changes in there including for the ones we've talked about the multiplayer and whatnot so we already went over that but i also want to go over their intentions behind some of the balancing changes that are coming also expeditions downscaling and other areas of discussion that have been addressed in past videos as well as on the forums but but essentially right now there's a big problem with the downscaling and the way it works essentially if you're downscaling as in turning down your world tiers or your challenge tiers too low compared to your current maximum you might just end up feeling way weaker than you should be which makes absolutely no sense and that is because of the way the game recalculates your stats your powers and whatnot when you're playing at those levels so that is a fundamental aspect of the game that needs to be addressed but it's not probably going to be addressed in this update it might take a little bit longer as they are explaining so we are aware that these are topics that are currently attracting a lot of discussion throughout the community they are of course also topics that we discuss internally however because they are fundamental aspects of the game feedback and considerations for change must be considered over a longer period of time so there it is it's likely not going to be included in the new update this is to say that while we haven't yet talked about these topics, we do intend to do so in the future end of quote so what you need to keep in mind essentially right now is to not tune down your difficulty too low like i would say mostly up to three or four tiers below your current maximum should be enough because if you're going too low then you're going to be hit by the scaling harder and harder the, the lower you go so it, it's not really worth it like if you're stuck in challenge tiers right now the best approach is to go like one or two levels below and you should in theory fare better and again you can couple them with some of the tips and tricks that we've talked about in the past like focusing on those rares leveling them up first at your current maximum and then focusing on upgrading their quality so that you can get epics and get you know better stats out of them better mod distribution and whatnot so you can combine these two to easily reach ct15 but this is it in terms of the updates of course i'm gonna keep you guys updated once it all drops i will also keep you updated with the restoration process as well as with the company compensation package so all of that if of course you stay tuned here on this channel so as always if you enjoyed this video at any point it would be awesome if you left a like on it or don't you can do whatever the heck you want to do and i'll see you guys in the next one